if your investment returns are lagging, even with the market near new highs, you may be rethinking the advice that you're getting, and there are certain things to consider before splitting from your financial advisor. Our senior personal finance correspondent, Sharon Epperson, joins us with some answers. So what's more, most important to investors when they're seeking that advice from their financial advisor? Well, you know, the investment returns, the portfolio value, that certainly provides the foundation. But Vanguard recently did a survey of 100 thousand of its clients who use the personal advisory services. And it's not just the portfolio. They want financial planning. They want to find out whether or not their goals are being met and whether or not the advisor is helping them set those goals. And then there's the emotional value. Do they trust mm -hmm. this advisor? And is there a connection there to help them reach their goals? But that doesn't always mean that they're going to leave that advisor. Generally speaking, why do investors end up leaving a financial planner of some kind? It's usually because of a life change, and that creates some type of financial change, whether they're changing jobs, whether they are getting married, having a child, maybe they've received an inheritance. All of these things paint a new financial picture for them, and they want to make sure that the advice meets that. When it doesn't, when it's the same advice they've gotten for the last 10 years, then maybe it's time to make a switch. Is that one of the warning signs? And are there other warning signs about why you might want to consider changing advisors? Absolutely. Life changes and financial changes have to go hand in hand. So make sure the advice that you're receiving really reflects where you are right now in your life. Make sure that the advisor also is communicating with you regularly. As practices grow, sometimes the advisor may take you for granted a bit. You might get a mm -hmm. newsletter instead of that phone call. Or you only get a phone call if they're trying to sell you something. That's something also to be wary of. And if they do not explain the fees. Again, the financial advisor should uphold a fiduciary standard meeting. They should put your interests first mm -hmm. above their own ability to make a commission or make money off of you. So if they're not doing that, that's a problem. Quickly, what's the best way to do this if you decide you want to leave? Get all the documents that you have, all the investment documents. You have tax returns as well, insurance documents. You want them to give you a full financial picture. Talk to your old advisor, and if you're still not happy with it, close the account. Sharon Epperson, sure. thank you so much, as always. My pleasure.